the NFL to Hollywood to fatherhood. Join me as I tackle my next journey in life, becoming Hollywood's next action star. We got a pasty arm day for you. Let's go get this thing. Just did a warm up, did my shirts and shorts muscles, my forearms, my neck, my calves, and now it's a full focus arm day. The reason I throw an arm day into my workout split routine is because that's one of my bigger lagging body parts. And like I just said, my neck, arms, calves, those are the three main ones. So I dedicate a full day in my training program to that. So I'll just go push, pull, legs, arms, push, pull, legs, arms. I don't even, I pretty much go straight into them knowing I'm going to have one to two unaccounted for rest days throughout the week that I don't need to plan because life's just gonna happen. So um, in a nutshell, that's what I'm doing. And so today, and the reason it's good to bring up lagging body parts, at the height of my strength during my NFL career, I was a 450 pound bencher, 650 pound squatter. I was huge in my trunk, you know, my chest, back, quads, but had little arm development, little calf development, shoulders, same thing. When you bring up a lagging body part, you make everything else look bigger. You're doing a disservice to all this work and this big size because it's being played down by a smaller arm. So I know that when I bring up this lagging body part, it's gonna make the rest of my physique look way bigger. For example, you'll see some guys in the NFL that just genetically have really, really big arms. You'll see them in pads and you just see, this is the biggest freak monster you've ever seen. And then you see them without their shoulder pads on, so, you know, they're kind of small up, up there, but they still have the big arms, but you're like, oh, okay, I, I imagine they were way bigger everywhere. Arms are a big uh, body part to make you, everything else look bigger. And so that's the focus of today. What I like to do for my arm workouts, which I do for most body parts, I'm gonna do one strength movement for the biceps and the triceps, and one more you know, slow eccentric, big squeeze, mind muscle connection focus, uh, really get a pump movement where you go higher reps. Um, so for today on the biceps, I'll do the easy bar curl loaded up with 125 pounds for the strength movement. And for the strength movement on the triceps, I will do V-bar press downs. And for the pump kind of movement for the arms, I'm going to hit uh, an overhead dumbbell tricep extension. I'll show you how I do that when I get to it. And for the biceps, I will do a standing single arm dumbbell preacher curl. Here we go. <clears throat> Seven. Ah. 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 Lift it or your whole family dies. Ah. Not today. That's a benefit. Awesome. All right, so now I'm gonna go straight into 30 pound overhead tricep extension. What I do is I lean the working arm up against this pad that I've placed right here and I'll put all of my weight on the outside leg so it balances out your momentum so you're not going all over the place here. Uh, first time I did these, it was just a random impulsive idea I had and my triceps were blitzed the next day, real sore. I thought, man, I think I'm gonna make this a staple. So I'm having to come back to them. Yeah. Uh, Cause it's great. Does great with keeping the upper arm in place so it's not going all over the place and manipulating with the weight. You can keep that in place and really isolate the tricep instead of having to balance it on your own. Use your energy doing that. Oh. Hmm. 
So as I was saying, in the football world, training-wise, arms were kind of looked down upon, like, oh, you're just, you know, doing curls for the girls, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, you don't use that in football at all, which the first thing is kind of true. You know, you don't need to have these big old pipes to play football. Uh, and they're not going to be super helpful in your overall performance. But the second one is a lie because you're using every muscle to the greatest ability it has. So I think it does have some utility. Should it be a main staple of doing a bunch of curls and having your own arm day during your football training split? No, no. Uh, but, you know, a lot of great ones did. Look at James Harrison. He had, a, he had an arm day. And uh, you can't, can't argue with those results. And there's a lot of way to, ways to train them that are performance-based. Like, you even look at the way he bench presses. He's got a pretty narrow grip. So there's going to be a lot of tricep dominance in that. The dude was doing dips with, like, 645s hanging off the, uh, a weight belt. Um, you can't tell me that that's not going to have a significant impact on his ability to press an offensive lineman and keep him wherever he wants him and throw him. Um, obviously, you're working other muscles there, front delts, chest, all of it. But a lot of arm movement, a lot of, uh, a lot of arm development there. Ooh. Oh, I hope that don't hit the camera. Uh, here we go. So that was more my kind of pump focus on the contraction tricep movement. You notice I start on my left side, it's my weaker arm. I go until I can on that one, match the reps on my right side. Try to e equal out that size and strength and balance. 
mid-workout audible, I'm still going to do uh, V-bar press downs. Heavy, 85 pounds on my rig feels pretty heavy for me. And then hammer curls, standing hammer curls for the sake of time. And I know I get a good contraction with that. It'll take a little too long to do standing dumbbell preacher curls. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Time we got. Oh, God, I gotta get moving. All right. Ah. Ah. Pick up the kids so i'm gonna do just one more of each then run upstairs make a quick protein shake well i don't have protein powder right now so actually it's just gonna be an egg whites and chocolate milk shake which is about 40 grams of protein and only 265 calories which i should have more but i really gotta run i don't have time to make a shake with oats and banana and all that stuff oh it'll hold me over Till I get home and have about a half hour, eat a little more. <sighs> Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Peace out. Keep getting it.